Alrighty, this is for uh, our Arjit Sakar, um, and he's working on trying to do shiny metal. And so the first thing that I would say right off the bat is that your light sources are a little bit off. Um, the the one thing you have here is this blue light. Let me try something real quick here. Get my pen working. All right, there we go. So the first thing that I would say right off the bat is that your light source, your initial light source, is you've got it coming in different directions. So you've got it coming this way, and you've also got it coming this way. And so your 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 light is already kind of has issues. And then this light source here, this uh, bright light like this, is coming this way, and which is fine, but you're not you're not casting shadows or anything like that. So the first thing that I would say that you want to do is consider your, your metal texture. Um, the problem with your metal texture is that you've kind of got light coming from all different directions and you need to, to fix that first. Um, the second thing is the light, you, if you want shiny on, you know, you, you have to think of material. So you have leather, you have um, your uh, shiny metal, but this is paint over here, and so paint wouldn't be as thick. So I'm going to, we're going to ignore this pattern right off the bat. Oops. There we go. We're going to ignore this pattern right off the bat. And from a shiny standpoint, what I would do is I would dull this down. So this doesn't need to be as bright. Now, if there's scrapes or anything like that in there, that's where that is going to kind of pick up those highlights because that paint has been scraped off, all right? And it will also give you a slight shadow. Where the light isn't shining. Like so. So that that you need to be aware of. Now, if it's super shiny, if you get super highlights and stuff like that, your light falls off. So what's going to happen is here, it's not going to be as bright. Um, you're also going to get a cast shadow on here. So we're going to pick some of this cool color and kind of paint that cool color in there to basically kind of give you that cast shadow. All right, and do you see how just by putting that little bit of light in there, a little bit of cast shadow going on, you see how that, that adds a lot more realism to it? And that's kind of what you want to pay attention to. But if we're, we're, we're fixing on the light, the light is going to bounce. Um, so I'm going to just do a little light tutorial here. So the way this works is um, the smoother the object. So if we have a smooth object like this, the light is going to bounce basically like so, all right? And it's going to create a fall off. So as it goes from here to here, it's going to become less. So what's going to happen is you're going to have a bright shade like this. And do you see how that bright, okay? Because this, this is a cylindrical shape. And as we kind of fade off like this, you're going to get like so. So do you see how that light now is is giving you that uh, individual shape? So as you bend this, um, you're going to basically elongate this. Now if this is if this is a ball, you're going to get point light. If this is a cylinder, you're going to get a uh, uh, the highlight's going to be, you know, basically linear. Right, so you have to be aware of what shape your your idea is, is calling from. Um, so the same thing goes over here. You've got this front light, but as it goes, as it fades back, and I'm going to use this as a as it fades back. What's happening with it? And you can see I'm picking out the the brights. Okay, right? and it's going to fade back into the grays. And I'm just grabbing like so. 
So you can see how that light fades off from its, its light source. And then it'll go into this. So your goal is to get that light going on from the same I'm just gonna pick like so, like so. Uh, it it uh, that light is coming on from that same source and basically bending out. So a cylinder like this is gonna stretch that highlight, and it might not even come full highlight. It might come down like so. Um, same thing up here, and it's going to fall off. So what happens is you have your highlight, you have the first radial of kind of light and as it diffuses away it gets less and less and less so if this is a hundred percent right here I'm sorry about that let's, let's erase that so if that's a hundred percent here maybe this is only 75 maybe this is uh, 50 and then anything back that it just gets worse and worse and worse so I'm gonna just erase my notes here so I can uh, let's grab Oops, there we go. Oh, that's what it is. There we go. Okay, now, so with that in mind, the ridges here, you are, you're, you're right. What happens here is the ridges, because they are actually shining against the light, they're going to pick up more light. So you're going to use those ridges to kind of define that light. Now, you might have, the other thing is you might have some fall off still continue on this side. So that will define that ridge a little bit more. And yes, you're, you know, it might fall off, but you might want to continue that color so on and so forth. So it just doesn't stop in the middle because there's a ridge there. And I get you're changing your angle. And this is why you want to probably create a maquette or something like that. Um, you know, aluminum foil and a light would probably solve all your problems. Okay. And now that's going to fix that. Then the next thing that you want to do is you want to, um, you want to fix this light. So if this light is coming from back, you're going to actually kind of dull this down. Um, maybe it's not going to be as bright because you won't don't want two super strong lights because what's going to happen is they're fighting each other um, is if you look here the the two lights are fighting each other whereas now if I put the the highlights back on and I start picking up and putting in some of this red warmth in there all right and that's getting me just a little bit more emphasis now the other, so I'm just going to put kind of that rim light back here, and maybe a little bit of rim light back here, and you might even continue that rim light back into here, so that kind of fights that, you know, it, it's coming from that back side. So the same thing here, you're going to have a lot more black spaces uh, to basically show that your chain mail is in there, right? And that's going to kind of highlight that. And then this is where your lighting gets off, because now we're going to kind of, I'm going to just mute that a little bit. And I'm going to even mute this blade here. The other thing, the blade is out of, out of uh, perspective. So I realize what you're trying to do. But if you just create a longer blade, like so. Oops. Oops, I'm out here. There we go. If you create a longer blade like this, um, it's going to look much more realistic. So, now with this backlight here, you're going to get that sheen here. And you might even get some more fall off going on. Um, and then same thing on this side. And then you're, if it's coming from the back like so, you might get a backlight like this and even like this. So it really depends on where that backlight is coming. And then if the blade is coming down 
as it comes down, depending on the angle, it might pick up some of this light here. So you want to really pay attention to that feature as well. Um, so you need to, to really sit down and consider your light sources because what's happening is your initial light is way too strong um, and too strong on both sides. Whereas if we dull it down a little bit and uh, let's pick let's pick this dark color here. If we dull it down a little bit, and I'm just gonna dull it with this dark blue here. And let's do a little bit of kind of like so. And then let's pull in some of these highlights. Maybe it's just picking up a little bit of the, the blood groove. And of course, I need to shape this a little bit better. I need to uh, kind of, oops. I need to play with the shape a little bit more here. Um, I probably would darken the outside, they'll darken the background a little bit to kind of play with that. But you know, if your 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 blade is picking up little bits and little edges like that from the light over here, you need to be aware of that. Um, and so that's something that you just want to kind of pay attention to. Um, and and look at how things are angled and things like that. Uh, the best thing I can tell you to do is you know get a little He-Man figure or a uh, figurine and then basically put some aluminum foil down uh, for shields and swords and armor, and you'll see the and and when you use the light sources, you'll see the two put together. All right, I hope that helps.